Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, you're probably here because at your gym you've got one of these Staiku 3D body scanners and you just want a little bit more information about it and want to know if you can really trust the results. So if you're looking for something really specific, I've got timestamps at the bottom here. You can go to those directly. Otherwise, uh, sit back, relax, and we'll get right into it. So let's go. So what exactly it is, it's this futuristic looking uh, scanner that uses non-harmful infrared lights to take what they call millions of data points, mostly just using images and stitching them together. And what it does is creates this clay model that we'll get more into. But how it works is you basically just stand on that platform. It spins you in a circle and that lasts about 30 to 45 seconds and after that it'll create that model for you and that's pretty much it so when you get there the gym staff will have you answer a short questionnaire just like gender age height weight and that's going to just help the computer with its calculations on body fat percentage and maybe some of the other information about calorie intake and that sort of thing depending on your goal but nothing out of the ordinary and following that, they'll request that you just dress down to your comfort level. Uh, if you're a guy, it's just form-fitting clothes. For me, it was just compression shorts, but you're gonna wanna get down in as form-fitting clothes as you can because you don't want uh, the circumference measurements to be impeded too much by your, your clothing. And like I said, that should really only take 30 to 40 seconds as it turns you around there. And after that, you're good to go. And it just takes a few minutes for the computer to finish the calculations. And then it'll sort of spit back these images that you'll see on screen here that the uh, gym staff member will go over with you. So at first it looks like a lot's going on here. You got all these colored rings and all these measurements, but it's really pretty simple. What they're doing here is they're just identifying areas of the body where they can calculate using the distance between the, the sensors and your body, the circumference of those body parts. And it's that's where it's gonna come up with most of these numbers. Now they will ask you to have your hands away from your body. In my case, they specifically asked me to hold my hands a little bit up like this. And that ended up actually tricking the cameras just a little bit. As you can see in this in this middle hip measurement, uh, it grabbed a little part of my hand. It didn't really matter to me that much. I was in it more for the experience, not necessarily the data. So they asked if I wanted to run it again. I didn't really care, but that's an example of something that might happen. So don't be too thrown off by that. Now, the first thing I wanna mention is really one of the first thing that's gonna catch your eye when you are looking at the results right at the top there, it's gonna talk about your body fat percentage. And I wanna talk about a couple things here. Uh, even according to the Staiku website itself, the body fat percentage is measured using a combination of your gender, height, weight, age, uh, and then a couple of the measurements that it takes. So it's not using BIA, which is what some of your bathroom scales might use to actually send a current through your body to figure out body fat percentage. It's more so calculating it based on the other indicators that it has. So <laughs> this will be a recurring theme for the rest of this. Don't be married to the numbers. Don't worry too much about the actual body fat percentage itself because it's, it's most likely going to be off in one way or the other. So in my case, it was 7.8% body fat. I would venture to guess I'm still a little bit above that. Um, and then my bathroom scale has me at about 12 and a half percent. And I would venture I'm a little bit below that. So somewhere in between that seven, eight and 12, four is probably right about where I'm at right now. But that's the thing with all these, even on the Stiku website itself, it talks about margin of error and all that. So just know that, know that what they tell you is not definitely right. Uh, if you thought it was something else, whatever. Additionally, I while watching another video that someone took with the scanner, the, the gym staff member was talking about uh, wanting them to be in between the 5% and like 10% body fat percentage. And to that I would say definitely, um, first of all, don't strive to just hit a number like that, I would say. But secondly, 5% uh, is pretty darn shredded. Uh, most people, even at their bodybuilding competition stages, are five plus percent so a regular person who's going to these gyms they're not gonna they're not gonna come near that um, it would be great to be in the 10 to, to 15 percent range that's healthy i would shoot for that um, so also i guess as a side note unless you're sure that your gym staff member is very educated on this subject don't just take everything they have to say and just agree with it. So just keep that in mind when you're going over the results with, uh, with that gym member. 
So just looking through the results, you can see all the green rings, which is where it's getting those uh, circumference calculations. And honestly, it's tricky because I believe that that's what the measurement was according to the machine. Um, but I looked at some of these numbers. I came back and actually like measured and cross-referenced with an actual tape measure. And there are definitely some discrepancies. And again, on the Stiker website, they address this directly and they talk about how these measurements are gonna be a little different, which is understandable. Even on the image itself, I can sort of see where it was taking some of these measurements. For example, the bicep measurement and the calf measurement, you can see that it's not exactly where it may be at the biggest point and it's not exactly uh, straight on. So again, the theme being don't, uh, don't be too attached to the numbers directly. There is gonna be margin of error. And lastly, just the general takeaways. I know that uh, the video is a little bit been, you know, it's, it's gonna be off, it's not gonna be entirely reliable, it's not gonna be entirely accurate, but the takeaway should be that what you're tracking here is going to be pretty consistent. It's not gonna be correct, but it's gonna be consistent. And again, on the Stike website, they, they acknowledge this and they say when you're talking about weight loss, or when you're talking about muscle gain or whatever your goal is, what's most important is consistent tracking. So if this is consistently, say, 2% off, that is valuable information for when you say you're dropping body fat that you know you're 2% leaner than you were when you started. Also, it's free. I'm pretty sure at most of the gyms it's free at Gold's where I did mine. It's free once a month. So you can definitely just jump in there. There's no reason really not to, unless you think you're gonna get really in your head about the results. Go in there, knock it out, do it for free, check back in a month, see if you've made progress. That's the biggest thing is just, did you make progress? If you're a bodybuilder or you are preparing for a competition or you wanna know exactly how big your biceps are for whatever reason this is not going to be the way to go it's not going to be that accurate um, same with body fat definitely don't look at this and say this is my body fat um, don't go telling your friends hey i'm five percent body fat because that's what this said it's just it's most likely not the case so that's pretty much all i got for you guys so i hope you enjoyed i hope everything was clear thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one It should go without saying, but it's non-harmful infrared uh, light. It's non-harmful infrared light. <laughs> it's non-